A landmine is an explosive device concealed under the ground and designed to destroy enemy targets, ranging from combatants to vehicles and tanks, as they pass over or near it. Landmines are classified into two types, anti-personal mines and anti-tank mines. Anti-personal mine for attacking human beings. The anti-tank mines are used for attacking the military tanks or other vehicles. History of landmines. Precursors of the weapon are said to have first been used in the American Civil War in the 1800s, but anti-personnel mines were first used on a wide scale in World War II. Since then they have been used in many conflicts, including in Vietnam, Korean, and the First Gulf War. Anti-personnel mines were initially developed to protect anti-tank mines and stop them from being removed by enemy soldiers. They were used defensively to protect strategic areas such as borders, camps, or important bridges, and to restrict the movement of opposing forces. 78 countries are contaminated with landmines, and 15 to 20,000 people are killed every year, while countless more are maimed. Approximately 80% of landmine casualties are civilians. Let's explore the parts and working mechanism of the landmine. This is the pressure plate. When we applied pressure on it the explosion takes place. This is the firing pin. When it's triggered by pressure, the fuse mechanism is designed to set off the detonator, either by striking it with a spring-loaded firing pin, compressing a friction-sensitive pyrotechnic composition, or by passing an electric charge through it. Most mines employ a spring-loaded striker that hits a stab detonator when activated by the victim. These are the main explosive charge. The main charge consists of a stable explosive that is detonated by the booster charge. And this is the detonator explosive charge. The booster charge is a highly sensitive explosive that will activate easily when subjected to the shock of the detonator. The purpose of the booster is to amplify the shock of the detonator and initiate the main explosive charge. This is the mine casing. The mine casing houses the components of the mine and protects it from its environment. Let's explore the working mechanism. When applying pressure on the pressure plate, the spring-loaded striker hits a stab detonator when activated by the victim. The mine's main charge detonates then creating a blast shock wave consisting of hot gases. They are traveling at extremely high velocity. The shock wave sends a huge compressive force upwards that make the explosion. 